Hi, Zap here. After the last video I uploaded where I played Projectiva with the Sun Voltex controller, I've gotten several messages from people asking me how I configured the controller and if I could walk them through the process. So far I've done that for everybody who's asked, however I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about it. So to begin with, my controller specifically is the Yoancon Sound Voltex 12 controller, which is the latest version and it's currently running on the latest firmware as well. This may have an impact as the different controllers may have different modes, and the main way I'm going to describe today relies on one of these modes specifically. However, I will also shed some light on the different way of doing it if you don't have a controller with this mode. So, the mode I'm referring to is the e-amusement cloud mode, which on the Yoancon 12 is mode 4. Normally the standard modes are something like this, where you can control the cursor using the knobs. And while it might vary between different controllers, this one specifically has a gamepad mode as well, which looks like this. The knobs influence the X and Y axis on the left joystick. The buttons just act like gamepad buttons. Now the mode I'm going to use today is just like this one, however it resets to the center every time you stop moving the knobs. In the most recent firmware update of the Yuan Kong controller, this is mode 4. It can be accessed by holding the D button while plugging the controller in. Now as you can see, the knobs are reset to the middle every time you stop moving. It's still analog, however when you stop moving it goes to the middle. The buttons act the same. Once you have swapped over to this mode, you can go into Steam and launch up a big picture. Once in big picture, go to settings and controller settings. Here you should have the controller detected. Normally it will say something like unidentified controller, but I've named this one, which is why it appears differently for me. To utilize the controller, first click on it and then configure the button mappings. In here you can map the controller in any way you want, but as I'm going to use it for Project Diva, I'm mapping it in the standard arcade layout. Therefore my mappings will be like this. I also mapped the start button to make sure I have that. As I also want to utilize the effects buttons for macros, I'm going to map them to the bumpers. However, you could also map them to the triggers, it will not make any difference. Now to the interesting part, the sticks. Normally, both of the knobs utilize the left stick, one in the x-axis and one in the y-axis. However, in Projectiva you only utilize the x-axis on both the left and the right Sticks. Therefore our left knob can just be the left stick x-axis. And for right stick x-axis we use the right knob, which in actuality is the y-axis of the left stick. Now that should be everything you need to be able to play the game. However there might be an issue in this window for you, where you are not able to save. If this is the case you have to map the last option in the list to be able to get the save option. My controller has extra buttons on the side, which is why I've just mapped this to these buttons. Now when you've mapped everything that you want, you can click save, and you can name the controller. This is the name I use, and I select PlayStation 4 controller. But it really shouldn't matter. Once this is all done, the controller should be recognized by Steam. And you should automatically use this configuration. Now you can exit big picture, and then you can go ahead and launch the game. And as you can see, the configuration has been loaded into the game. Now, depending on how you mapped everything and what your configurations are in-game, you may have to swap the in-game settings as well. Now once everything is configured, it should be working as intended. Now 
So as you can see it's working. But what if you don't have a controller that has an EM amusement cloud mode? What if your controller only supports mouse input? Well what you can do is use a program called GloVePy. It can be gotten from this github, I'm linking it below in the description. Just download it, extract it, and launch it. And inside of GloVePy you can paste this script I have linked in the description. Like so. Now what will happen when you run this script is that it will lock your mouse and give you keyboard inputs every time you move in a certain direction. So if I start the script, it will be like this. The mouse gets locked in this position and every time you move the cursor, it gets brought back to the same position. And now, as you can see, when I move the mouse, I get keyboard inputs. Now, as you can see, I get opposite input quite a bit here, but that's just because I'm moving it with my mouse. If you're actually using the knobs on the controller, you wouldn't get this. This is actually a script that can be used with eAmusement Cloud, and that's the actual purpose, but it will work for this as well. So when using it, you just have to rebind the keyboard inputs for left and right, and it should be good to go. And now you might feel that you're stuck in this program, but you can actually get out if you press Shift P I E, which is the standard shortcut for stopping the script. Now obviously I cannot account for every controller out there, so you might run into different problems that I have not yet uncovered. However, the best advice I can give you is that you can probably find a solution using auto hotkey, joy to key, x padder or something other than that, that lets you rebind your controller to something else. And that should basically cover most of it. If you have any additional questions about what I just showed you, or have a different suggestion on how you can do this better, Feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer as much as I can. That's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.